I'd like to thank you all for joining us for this AA FNAF meeting. I would just, I, I know it's hard and difficult um, to face these things, but I, I think it's important we do it together. Freddy's ugly and the bear looks like piss. I'm a rabbit and you're a fucking idiot. Why are we here? If we're not parading around doing voices and singing songs for the fucking idiot, we're here listening to your big mouth. I mean, come on. Do you have a personality outside of that one note character you are? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like pickles. Fucking riveting. Anything else? I'd like you to look at me when you talk to me, big boy. I am looking at you as much as I can. You know, if you two could shut the fuck up for two minutes, we could actually get something done. What even are you? It's a long story. Hmm. Yeah, don't lose your head over it. You shut the fuck up. I can see tensions are high. I did not know that some of us knew each other. I literally know you. I met you like twice. You're a pain in my ass then and you're a pain in my ass now. What about me? I don't know. You're kind of different, but you're still a pain in the ass. It's still the same son of a bitch no matter how many people they put you in. <laughs> oh, you haven't changed at all. So is there like a point? Like, do you exist? Like, why are you broken? Okay. Uh, the realist, or uh, what, what's his fucking name? I think his name's John. Yeah, the one who parades about. He said, uh, he, we do not own my likeness or name. So you're just a disembodied voice? Yes. I've seen you drink coffee. And I've seen you drink motor oil. Now shut up. Hmm, fair enough. I like him. Right. Ready, you have anything to add? Ready. He reminds me of somebody. Well, I can see that we need to get to the bigger point. Why? Well, let's do this. Let's go around the room and, and just say where we were last remember being. Not a good memory for me, Mike. Yeah, I don't recall either. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not my first rodeo here. And I've kind of done this whole thing a few times. Really? Yeah, I shared it with you, personally, after one of our meetings. We had a long discussion about it. Huh, doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, and uh, last thing I remember, I think they threw me out somewhere dark. <laughs> I think they, th they, th they threw me down a hole. Yeah, uh, I think everyone just gave up on me. Yeah, I was having a pretty good time, uh, actually. Uh, I was uh, building some shit, um, really just owning it. You know, I think I was torturing that guy. Don't quite remember. Uh, I, I think before that, the last thing I remember is kidnapping some kids. Or, or I was kidnapped by some guy with a really deep voice. Or I, I was building things for a guy with a re I don't, it was, it was kind of dog shit, to be honest with you. I couldn't really follow it. You were there. I was there, yes. You tell him. It was what it needed to be. Yeah, dog shit. Okay, if you two are, are done jerking each other off, what what is what is the point of, of this? Uh, I think the the guy said that this helps uh with the the process of being uh uh what what was it? What the the reboot? Not interested. Yeah, neither am I. I'm not going back to that crap. Yeah, rather stay here where things are real at least. I don't know if you think about it. How do you know this is any more real than what you were at? Keep talking. No, I feel like I gather too much attention from the statement. No, you have a good point. Yeah, and we want to hear it. Come on, smart man. I, I don't, don't, <laughs> Theoretically, if me and you have went through this, and, and you and the, the piss bears went through it, no, no, no offense, Mr. Afton, um... Who's to say that this is any more real than the world we came from? You guys are thinking too outside the box. This is a new chance. Why not embrace it? Who gives a shit what we go back to? I do. I'm not going back as this. 
You know how many times I've tried? You know how many times I've failed? <laughs> it's always been my fault. I'm the reason the planets are blowing up. I, I'm the reason my friends hate me. And most of it's true. I had to accept a long time ago the kind of person I am. And I'm not going back to it. <laughs> yeah, well, last thing I remember, uh, I think I was petting my cactus and then, boom, woke up in a bed here. So, yeah... Does anyone know if, uh, anyone know if John's coming in? Which one? No, you gotta be, I guess, a little more, you know, careful with your words there. Um, my John? <laughs> Our John. I haven't seen him. The only time I do is when we're in the, uh, on the island. Yeah. I'm sure he's fine. Not like he gives a shit about us anyway. Couldn't even get us out of here. Yeah. Well. I'm, uh, gonna go back to my cell. What are you gonna be doing? I, I like to tinker. You know, it'd be uh, above your mindsets. Oh, I could take a look. You know, I've always been an engineer, but I tried. Sure, Glitchy. Come with me. I'm sure uh, they haven't said anything about us going to each other's cells, but, uh, whatever. Nice raccoon. One, two, three. One, two, three. He's going to come in. One, two, three. Uh, here you're doing some counting. It's very interesting. I know you're an accountant by heart, but here, it's not really worth anything. Hey, uh, <clears throat> I got a question for you. You've been thinking about it more and more. I know you want out of here. Go back to something a little more easy. Let's just say you're out of your league. You think this is out of my league? You with your pompous ass. Well, let's just say. <coughs> Disorient. Smells like cheap whiskey. Idiotic behavior. You're no businessman. And not someone who can push me around. And what about <sighs> lover man, huh? Want to go into the chamber again? Do your worst. <sighs> well, I'd love to sit here and beat you to your blue. It does me no good, I guess, anymore. You went at it pretty hard. You must hate me for a certain reason. You remind me of, well, me. <laughs> and a child to boot. See where I come from. People like you would get spit out in a day. You're not worthy. Let's just put it. Not smart enough. Come on. I know you want to hit me. No. No, no, no. See, I've realized that you've been counting the seconds down. I've been going through your little security cameras here and... You're going through every socket, your bed frame, trying to find any way to get out of this cell. There was only one person to ever get out of these cells. Ever since I came along, it hasn't happened again. Well, them alive, anyway. Just accept the deal. You'll get to go on your way and be the unhappy, unhinged, fatherless man you've always been. Don't you want it to be easy, John? I'm you, come on. If anyone knows the struggle that we go through, it's me. Just take the easy way out. I have a show to do in about ten seconds. So if you have anything better else to add, I, I suggest you get out. Because you are not the smartest man in the room. 
<laughs> your choice. They always come around. Like your little lover man. Uh, what was his name? Greek guy. Giles. You notice he hasn't been popping up in your little show. He's gone. But I guess I think we already went through that. Must hurt, right? Someone you felt so close to, an attachment even, just disappear. Well, they took that easy way out. Oh, and they're loving it. And they don't even remember you. Get out of my room. Dad. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I want out of here! I'm counting. All right. Three, two, one. Three. <laughs> oh, that's almost perfect <gasps> what are you laughing about <gasps> how many times do i have to tell you people don't do that unless i know it hurts <gasps> you used to not hurt why does it hurt now God damn it, Lefty! Because I think that I think that they might think that if it hurts, uh, uh, they're trying to make it as uncomfortable as possible, guys. <gasps> then why does it only hurt you? God, because uh, I'm the only one physically here. <sighs> now please be quiet. The show has to start soon. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Randomizer stream. I'm your host, CEO. And we got some great segments here for you today. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> uh, this is uh, good. Good progress. He'll be happy. Just destroy him one piece at a time. It'll work worked on you Ooh. oh there you are oh, I, i've 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 waited i've waited for you it's going to be so fun uh so to the left is the death chamber and to the right's a bagel depending on what you tell me right now you get to go to one of the doors i guess you uh want to know how uh the talk with uh John. Yeah, yeah, of course he's John. Uh, just a better way to, uh, I guess, classify them. I guess 173 it would be sufficient since that's the cell he's taking up. No, he doesn't want to take your deal. He says rebooting is just out of the option. That in with a few weeks, a month, he'll be sitting where you are. Says that he thinks that we're a joke that the things that we do here are unimportant and that people will come and save him because he has friends. And you've literally discussed with him how no one is going to get in here and no one is trying to save him. <laughs> oh, I love to see his face when he realizes that he's truly alone. I mean, that must be petrifying, really. I mean, could you think about it? You losing everyone, then being taken from your world, and forced to be subjugated to a new one. Never really crossed my mind. But uh, the others, uh, they're getting more aggressive. I think we should offer them the deal separate. Sort of see which ones want to go and shove them on their way. No. What? It's not what I want. If he doesn't go, the others won't either. 
even if he's moronic and from a world where, well, let's just say furries are more popular than ladies, they still respect him. All of them do. And they won't follow unless he does, because they believe in him. Unlike me to you, you need to be more productive. You seem to be enjoying torturing him. Not to remind you that you were in a similar position yourself. How about we go back to that? You were so much more docile in that room anyway. I'll get him to turn around. And if you don't, then there's always another world where a John would love to eat up the opportunity to be a successful, smart, independent man. We'll find someone else. The bagel room is on the left. Do not go into the right door. It will kill you. Sure, well. Guess I better go see the show. Just remember, if you're tuning in for the first time, we love all our viewers. And I would just like to say, everyone you love and know is eventually going to die and you will be left alone. Doesn't matter how many kids you have or if you think you found that right person, they'll end up leaving you and you'll be left alone with your thoughts and the misery that you did everything wrong. Because just remember, no matter how hard you try, there's always someone better than you. <gasps> I know that there's, like, technically no one watching this anymore, but, like, this is kind of hurting me to watch. <gasps> and I've told you that you doing that actually hurts me, Lefty. C please stop. <gasps> Alright, um, just a few more questions. <gasps> okay, fine. Shoot. <gasps> Why weren't you at the meeting today? It's almost like I'm locked in a prison cell because I am defiant and I want to take over the world. I think you're the world, buddy. I think we're on a floating ship in the middle of fucking nowhere. I think world is kind of not the right word. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get the pronouns right of whatever the fuck's happening. So what is happening? Like, we can all hear you. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. <sighs> then just listen, children. Just listen. Every time I go through this, I, I forget a little more of who I was. I, I forget why I'm here. And every time it seems like they don't have to try as hard to convince me where I'm at. Every day gets a little worse. All I know for certain is I fucked with somebody. John, John, yeah. It, was, it all started with him. When I took over his body, everything got threw out of the loop. And then I ended up in that prison with all of you. I thought we were just manifestations of his mind, his being. But it's more than that. At least I thought it was. I don't know. But I'm going to get us out of here. <gasps> Bullshit. <gasps> Listen, if I wanted out of here, I could have already left. Could have left your sorry ass behind. What have you done but bitch and complain and moan about coming from a place where they reject you? Well, guess what? They hated me too. It doesn't make you special. So what's the plan? John. He's the plan. Mate, I think you hit your head a little too hard. You're John, and I don't think you've thought this through. <gasps> you don't understand. Out of everything he said, out of everything we've done, that was the realest thing I've ever experienced in my life. You saw it. You were there. We were in his body. I'm disconnected from it now. I don't know where it went. <gasps> and how do you know that's just not... Part of what they want you to think. <gasps> I mean, they made you see God from what you told us. 
and it doesn't look like you're having too much fun anymore. It's not fun. It's not good. But it has to happen, okay, guys? And if you fail, then they'll probably kill me. Take me back to that chamber where all that red was. Turn it on and not turn it back off. The feeling. I can't forget that. No matter how many times they throw me in here. It takes you away. Line by line. At least they let me wear my clothes in prison now. That's a nice plus. I was going to ask about that. I mean, when we were there, we were like, you know, in our... The designs we got made for you. Yes, I know. I know. I don't know why you guys are looking the way you do. It must have been part of the simulation, I guess. I, I don't know. I think that's a lazy answer. I agree. Well, most of you weren't going back with me. I thought we could rewrite our story. I thought we could do things differently. But I was wrong. But you still have an idea? Yeah. But you guys are going to have to trust me. Can you do that? We've been here this long, Mike. Yeah, we're not going to take the easy way out. I'm ready. Really? You let Reddy talk? <gasps> yeah, I mean, he likes you. <gasps> uh, yeah, I understand that. Okay, okay. We gotta keep the show going, though. Lefty, you're first. Welcome! <laughs> I know things have been not going the way I would like them to, but we've been experiencing little problems here or there. But I would just like to assure you, here on Randomizer Skyblock, everyone is doing just fine. And for our next performance, your favorite one-eyed man, Lefty, is here. <gasps> this is going to hurt you a lot, John. <sighs> doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Lefty. Just do what you got. All right, let's make this quick. I can't actually physically be here anymore, which is a drag, but I can sing us a nice little song. And it goes a little something like this. Apocalypse of the Damned. Level nine, the, the Cafetorium. Find the bad guy, push him aside, then move on forward with your friend at your side. It's a two-player game, so when they make an attack, you know you got a brother gonna have your back. Then you stay on track, and ah, remain on course, and if they give you a smack, you gotta use your force. If you leave your brother behind, it's lame, because it's an effed up world, but it's a two-player game. Alright, that was fun. Oh, you have no idea, it gets so much better. Dude, you are cooler than a vintage Kassan. It's just that no one else but me thinks that yet. You're just a nothing in this high school scheme But it's no big cause you and I are a team We like out of print games, retro skates, got a Pac-Man tattoo Nobody here appreciates But soon we'll be together where they do Cause guys like us are cool in college Cool in college, this I know Guys like us are cool in college. We rule in college. Listen, bro. High school is hell, but we navigate it well. Cause what we do is we make it a two player game. Zombies! Zombies. Watch, Watch out. out! Ah! What? Oh. As losers, we have fought together for years. Both Nintendo zombies and our popular peers. Now we're stuck on a level and I wanna move on. Just wait two years, we're upon. You'll realize guys like us are cool, cool in college. Cool in college, won't be lame. 
Dude, I know, I get it, guys. Guys like us are cool in in college, college. but we're not in college. All the same. High school is whack, but we got each other's back. It's me and you, we made it a two-player game. Gah! Oh. Oh. Hello? Zombie! Son! Blood! Claws! Chris Afton! Pause. You know that you are my favorite person. That doesn't mean that I can't still dream. Is it true I'm your favorite person? Yes, we're (laughs) never not gonna be a team. High school is shit, and you gotta help me conquer it. It's just what we do. We We make make it a two. Player game. Find the bad guy, push him aside. Then move on forward with your friend at your side. It's a two player game, so when they make an attack, you know you got a brother gonna have your back. Then you stay on track and ah, remain on course, and they give you a smack. You gotta use your force if you leave your brother behind his lane, cause it's an effed up world, but it's a two player game. Well, you know. If I had to admit it, out of everyone I had to deal with in this damn experiment, I guess I do like you the most. Does that mean I'm your favorite person? Yeah, I guess we'll always be that team. (laughs) Well, if you are that favorite person, I guess uh, we can try to do this as a team. Yeah, this place is shit. And I know we will get out of it. Because together, we make it a two-player game. (laughs) (coughs) Oh, shit. (gasps) Oh, my God. Did you just spit out virtual blood? (gasps) Felt very real to me. I thought you were doing an acoustic song. What the fuck was with the duet? (gasps) I don't know, Spring Bonnie's kind of grown on me. I I thought he thought you were an idiot. Don't you tell me how to talk to my new best friend. Besides, we're already making plans to get out of (sighs) here. Guys, you don't need to make (coughs) plans. I got this, okay? We're gonna get out of here together. My way. (gasps) And how do you think we're gonna do that? If I'm not mistaken... Haven't you lost all control? Getting beaten in a corner by yourself? I mean, I don't know about you, but I think we can take this over. (gasps) No. If you guys... If you guys do that, I I don't know what's going to happen. I told you, you, you just have to trust me. Listen. Over the last few months... I, I, I know... It's been hard. But I do want us all to get out of this. If you don't think I care about you, that's fine. But I know some of you. I've grown with some of you. All of you. If if we all don't get out, then none of us do. I promise you that. I have to agree with John. Oh, come on. Hear him out. I mean, he's got us this far. He's got us here. We could start over together, Lefty. We don't need him. We do. I I can't leave the others behind. They're, 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 They're dicks, Lefty. Yeah, but there are dicks. If you guys can please stop that. Please. I know you guys can talk outside of this if you want. So just let the show continue. Uh, what's next? I think it's my segment next. So, welcome back to the Randomizer. (laughs) I hope you guys are just coughing with excitement. I know I am. I think we should all give a round of applause to Lefty and his theatrics. 
Yes, I know they will never be missed. Well, replaced. But, sadly, the show must go on. And next is my segment. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Keep tuned. Because the next few minutes are going to be... You're going... John? Exciting. John! John! <laughs> oh, isn't that just great? Looks like they're all coming around. Simulation's gonna work this time. Might be the 50th time he's had to go into the damn thing, but... Looks like it's not gonna be my ass anymore. Maybe this time Francis will convince him to take the deal. No, 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 that's not the right way to go about this. Lefty and Spring Bonnie are already on board. We just gotta convince John that it's his choice. He's a god of power. Maybe I can go in there and offer it to him myself. <laughs> not a bad idea. Well, I guess I'm going to have to miss your next segment. But don't worry. I'll be back to see the ending. Don't worry, you furry fuckers. You're going to go right where you belong. All in pieces. I really got to fix that fucking wall. On the other hand, I guess I don't have to go there and offer it right now. If I go in the simulation, he's going to know it's me. Maybe someone with an outside touch. Maybe those stupid animatronics are still in their fucking AA meeting. <laughs> you can't be serious. We can't get out of here. Well, I think that's where you're wrong. Yeah, I believe in John. Well, I don't. I don't think he has our best interest in heart. Really? I never known a John to be selfless. <laughs> yeah, me either. Yeah, he's always kind of been a dick. Yeah, I've always hated those motherfuckers. Right. Is there a reason you you're here? Oh, I'm just walking around. Uh, I got to see your two little show. Oh, you two are so cute together. Oh, I thought you were supposed to be such a big bad guy. What? Sins wash away when you find a new friend? Oh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, I thought that was the point of this. We're, we're supposed to get along, right? The point here is you're all going to go away. I'm not going anywhere. Who said you have a choice? You can scheme. You can do. Whatever the fuck you want. But I'm telling you, if one of you step out of line, if I even find a screw missing, <laughs> let's just say scrapping is going to be the least of your worries. Right. I don't think we could anyway. I watch everything you do. <laughs> I know you guys have been talking and planning, thinking that John can figure some way out of this. Well, I have met hundreds of me. And all of them, all of them without exception, have always failed. Now, I'm glad this little meeting helps you with your little circle jerk of appreciation. I don't care. If you like each other, if you don't, it matters not to me. I don't care if you have to reboot yourself seven times until you get it right. I don't care how many people hate you or what you have to go back to. You are not people. You're property. Yeah. I've heard that before. So start acting like it. Because... If you don't fit the right puzzle piece, Jeremy, well, we can always just delete you. Who's going to miss one sad bear? I know your friends certainly don't. Huh? Yeah. 
yeah, oh, don't worry guys, uh, it's gonna be fine, um, I know we've been through a lot today, and we can discuss it in detail. I, I don't like him. He, he's worse than me. You're not that anymore. We're not any of that anymore. You know, it's almost pathetic that they're sitting there thinking that they can be something else. <laughs> Ugh, I mean, I had to do it, but I guess you can always lie through them. I mean, why do you always have to be friends with everybody? They're always going to end up fucking you over in the end. You know, I don't think I've ever met one person that truly just wanted something out of the genuineness of their heart. There's always a fucking reason. There's always a fucking reason. But if the program works, it works. Better that they like each other. At least it gets the love of man off my ass. But this... This might not work. I can't go in there. They'll know it's me. I don't have a good poker face anymore. <sighs> but him... He'll work. Well... If it isn't the most desperate man in the universe. Whoa, 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 what? What are you doing here? They said after I answered your questions, I wouldn't have to talk talk to you again. I, I told you what, what I knew. Let's go over it one more time. No, please, please, no, no, no. Don't, don't make me relive it. It's fine, John. You see, I've went through something like you experienced in real time as well. People disappearing, friends vanishing. But if you keep whining about the past, then you'll never move forward. I, I told you that they just disappeared. We were, we were, we were, we were, we were in a cave and, and we were doing some stupid shit and, and they just, they just vanished. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they are. I, I, I don't know. Now let me fill you in. Since you're not in good standing with, uh, Mr. Councilman. They're gone. All of them. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is this your first time hearing this? They're not gone. They, they, they just... No, they're gone. Forever. <laughs> Your little adventures, they're not going to happen anymore. But you can still be useful. If you think you can handle it. I used to be where you're at. I used to think I was the smartest man in the room. T trust me, you're not. There's always going to be someone out there better. Someone smarter. Someone more clever. Oh, you think you're smart? <laughs> Everything that was done for you was built on the backbone of smarter people. You've never done anything. You never figured out a problem. It's not true. I helped us get out of many situations. I, I helped them. No, you didn't. Because they're gone now. I don't understand then. What do you want from me? It wasn't enough you had to lock me up in here. Take away everything from me. At least you let me wear my clothes. That's that's a plus, but... I'm, ju I'm just trying to say... He'll betray you too. You, you might think that Red Sun or uh, Mr. Egotistical has your best interest in heart. But if he could do this to me... He can definitely do it to you. Let's just get one thing straight. Right now. Lay it on the table as what it is. You're nothing but an ignorant sociopath that got people killed because of your fucking ignorance. Picking up people who didn't belong and bringing them here. You let people escape. You let people die. You let a maniac destroy multiple universes and when they put your ass on trial for it you got to walk away 
and they did it to me, they put me in the cell. Now, I don't think that's fair. But there's nothing you can do about it now. We're the, we're not the same. You're a fucking idiot. I build sentient life for fun to clean my goddamn room. You know what you do? You make lights turn on and off. We're not the same. So what do you want? What do you, what do you want from me? I'm here to make a deal. I'm running into a problem. And if I go in and try to fix it, they, they may know it's me. So I need someone with a more bubbly personality to take it over. And if you get it right, maybe I'll let you out. Fuck you. What? You won't let me out. Out of this? Out of this hell? You make me relive my worst moments over and over again. For what? It doesn't help me be a better person. I never learned shit. I'm still the same person I was then. But I guess you're smarter than that, huh? I'm not helping you. Find someone else. Your loss. But where, 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 before you go, what would you need my help for? Oh, for the smartest man in the universe? I just needed you to reboot some furries. I thought you could handle it. But, I guess even you have lost that spark. I guess some people are just better in the prison. You tell him I'm gonna get out of here. And when I do, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> you know, I hear that a hundred day, a hundred times a day from better people. I'm gonna do it. I know I will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Smartest man in the universe. <laughs> what a fucking joke. Huh. Guess I better just go watch the program. Welcome uh, back to Randomizer Skyblock. Sorry, uh, for some reason we've had a little interference. But don't worry, uh, the show is continuing. It will always continue. You know, you don't have to do this anymore. I, yes, what do I do? Or they'll... What? What, 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 they, what would they do? <laughs> oh, they're going to start hurting you guys. Just let me finish the show. It's almost over. Welcome. You know, uh, I can't remember much, uh, from the past anymore. Uh, just snippets, really. I, I do remember, uh, mostly when I, when I was a kid. Uh, I, 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 I didn't really have anyone or anything. I, I moved group home to group home. I, I mostly stayed by myself. Uh, I guess no version of me uh, really changes. <laughs> John, John had a, John has a family. They're really nice. I, I wish I, I wish I had that family. <laughs> but uh, I guess my story was just wasn't interesting enough with them, you know. <laughs> But I, I always uh, played piano when I, when I was alone. That was the, about the only thing I could do. I'd go to the church before they opened, and I would play songs on that piano. You know, one thing about this, if we could just cut the bullshit, you know, it's... Just awful. <laughs> you know, every, every day, I, I think it's going to be the day that I finally come up with some grand fucking scheme. You know, it used to be so easy. 
It used to be so easy. <laughs> but I, I don't think I could do this anymore. I won't. You're 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 not alone. You you have us. <laughs> yeah, Mike. It's it'll be fun. We'll get out of here. <laughs> yeah. We will. Don't worry. I used to be in the same position, really. And all that time, I thought I had people. But you guys actually listen to me and care about what I have to say. Yeah. Hey, uh, you, you, I know you, I know you can hear me. Clockwork, you're watching, right? Somewhere. Please. Help me. Help us. For our, our next segment, uh, I'm going to be, uh, singing. A song on the piano. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Trying to be funny and stuck in a room. There isn't much more to say about it. Can one be funny when stuck in a room? Being in trying to get something out of it try making faces try telling jokes making little sounds ah. i was a kid who was stuck in his room there isn't much more to say about it when you're a kid and you're stuck in your room You'll do any old shit to get out of it. Try making faces. Try telling jokes, making little sounds. Well, well, look who's inside again. Went out to look for a reason to hide again. Well, well, buddy, you found it. back John John <laughs> it's you <laughs> I knew I could find you I knew you were real I knew I wasn't crazy oh you're not crazy I mean as crazy as someone could be screaming inside of a bar <laughs> the, the, the guy the guy thought I was crazy <laughs> what the realist me oh dude don't worry uh, he's in for a big surprise later. Wait. Uh, yeah, well, what's up? Uh, th where, where's, uh, clockwork? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just sit down. Can't observe everything, can he? Uh, right. <laughs> well, you want a drink? Yeah. Do you want one? Oh, <laughs> I drink too much in my real life as it is, but uh, I guess you know that. Going on vacation with my family, trying to take over my body, fucking with my story, must have went really well for you. No, 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 it hasn't. What? You're telling me fucking me over hasn't went well for you? <laughs> no! <laughs> have you been watching this? I make this. <laughs> yeah. We used to be connected? Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Uh, 
you are a part of me. Just not me. I know it hasn't been easy, but I thought about it. You thought about it? Yeah. And you're going to let me have control. No. Have you learned nothing? Literally, you dumb son of a bitch. Have you learned not a single thing? I've learned plenty. Let me rephrase. Go ahead. I would like to apologize. And... And... I made... A mistake. Go on. Wait. What's the matter? No, no, this isn't real. What are you fucking talking about? No, this is a part of the simulation. No, it's not. How do you, how do you know that? Bro. It's me. This place, let's just say for... uh. Continuity's sake, uh, the people at the DMV can't get here, okay? It's, it's just you and me. You remember it from last time, don't you? Where you talk to yourself? Yeah. The, my optimism. Yeah. You kind of died. Yeah. Why is that? Tell me. Because you wanted him to. No. I'm a writer. But you killed that yourself. You obviously have control of what you're doing now, right? I think so. We exist separately. But in a whole. You exist because I exist. And I think it's time that you get a fair shot. Won't you? And how do I know you're just not him? Oh. Dude. If I was him, I'd be reveling in this. I would be making you lick my boot. Dude, he's he's such a narcissistic asshole that he would revel in this so much just seeing you beg and squallow just to get somewhere so close and get so far. That's not me. So, so you, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, you can ask me some questions. Go ahead. Does any of it matter? Any of this? Did you enjoy it? What? The life you lived. Were you happy? No. I was miserable. And how have you been here with your new friends? I'd do anything for them. I want to get them out of here. Then just ask. No, I I need to do it my way. I seen it. I did that. I, I, I talked to your stupid friends. I made thumbnails, I wrote scripts, I sang, and I lost people that I cared about. And I just... He's fine. What? What, uh, Giles? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I voice him. Of course I fucking know him. (laughs) He's He's okay? Went through some things, but yeah, he's fine. And this can be on your terms. How? Well, you could have taken the deal there, and I'll tell you what would have happened. They would have rebooted you guys separately, or probably killed a few of you and just did it anyway, and you would have been alone. By yourself in a world where you had the same things happen over and over again. You would try to become CEO, eventually get it by killing, murdering, and betraying everyone you've ever loved or cared about. But it doesn't matter. It's just a story. No. 
You help people. I mean, as much as life has been hard for, for me, you help people. I, I, I don't know how to put this, but just because you're a story doesn't mean you're meaningless. You bring thousands of people joy. You even make me happy. I can't lie. Some of the confidence I pull out, my tactical mind, my, my strategies, there's a little bit of you in me. I put a lot of myself in my characters. What I'm trying to say is, you can do this your way. Well, my way. Our way. And what happens if I go back? Well, I don't know. I haven't wrote it yet. And this? Eh, just call it a little improv session. Between the two of us. Any more questions? What happened to the rest of them? Your friends? They're gone. Okay. Yeah, it just didn't work out. Sometimes that's how it goes. It's not a bad thing. It's just life. You're I'm doing good though, you know? I'm stable now. A lot more than I could have said a few years ago. Are you our God? <laughs> Buddy. You're, you're asking some real weird questions. No, I'm no god. I create, sure, but God Damien does more of that than I do. Huh. Guess so. Yeah, Mars as well. My assistant? Oh, you remember. Well, now they're another friend of mine. You got friends. Yeah. I got friends. Plenty of them. <laughs> Work friends. Online friends. <laughs> Life's good. Any more questions? They'll all get to go with me? Of course. You actually wrote it, didn't you? Your happy ending? I'll tell you what. I think it's time that we get going. As soon as you walk through those doors, you will be back on the island. But the DMV won't be able to see you. It'll just be you and me. I promise. Can I ask one more question? Yeah. I always thought that, uh, Everything had a this point, you know? And if you were me, and I'm a little bit of you, you were the worst parts of me. There's meaning in life. You just gotta make it. Now, are you ready to start again? It'll be different. Trust me. No portals. No giant, big, bad. Just real life. When we get done, you'll wake up in a bed like nothing happened and start your day. Your friends will be in the world with you. You will grow. You will be better. Like me. You would do that. After everything I did to you. Sometimes you just gotta forgive yourself. Make him one mistake and then move on, you know? You will always be a part of me. Every time someone cussed me off in traffic, or anytime I gotta do my taxes for sure, or when I need to make a business deal, you're always gonna be in my head. Alright. Deal?
Yeah. <laughs> you know, I met Clockwork a few times on occasion. He really has an interest in you. <laughs> I voice him too. I know why he has an interest in me. But mostly he has an interest in the world and the characters, not, well, me myself. He's kind of disgusted with me. But Mr. Moyers, I do hope you have a good time. And remember, there's always a place for you at the fourth wall. Yeah, Puppet Singh. This time, you're getting rebooted. What? What the fuck? Sorry, douchebag. Randomizer Skyblock is, well, technically offline. Oh, wait a minute. Welcome to Evan Inn, your one-stop shop for entertainment. Sorry. I guess you lost. I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> Where did they go? Where are they? No, 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 this can't be happening. Where, where did he, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, okay, just go to the prison cells. Go to the prison cells, he'll be there. Just gotta get there quick. Where are you? <sighs> Jeremy, Spring Bonnie, Lefty, even the fucking retarded one. I will find you! And I will send you to the room. You are all dying today. No one makes a fool out of me. I swear when I get in here, I'm going to snap your fucking neck. I always hated you for naff fucking people anyway. Nothing but a fucking cop out. Hello, Mr. Moyers. Where did they all go? No, no! I will find you! I'm gonna find you. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? What? This is where it started, right? You, me, the others? How do you feel about the others, by the way? I love every single one of them. In different ways. All of you are a part of me. In different ways, I guess. Uh, even Lefty? Oh, especially Lefty. Spring Bonnie. No. Elliot. Elliot? Oh, no. I guess you'll figure that out later. Hmm. You know what I was getting, I guess? That idea for what we'd be... I always thought it was going to be something big, you know? Uh, I was going to be friends with Jeremy, and... Well, I don't remember the first episode. I remember it being good. I remember I did an episode with Jeremy on the roof, actually. It was a workout. Are me and him friends? You'll be friends. Everyone has to work through problems. And... This story... Are you going to write it? Yeah, but I promise, it's going to be different. I'm not going to hurt you guys. I honestly think you've been through enough. Of course, there's hardships. There's hardship in life. But <laughs> it doesn't mean it's not going to be fun. All right, um. Uh, Good to know, right? What? That you're not the same person. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You remember when the first time we did this and when the ending came for you and you really did piss me off, but <laughs> It really helped you change to be a better person. You're going to be a better person. It doesn't mean I'll be good. But it doesn't mean you'll be the same asshole. 
Things change. So do people. I've changed. And people thought that was impossible. <laughs> the others. Uh, I need... I, I need to see them. That's not a problem. I'll just look behind you. What are you... <gasps> oh, fucking Christ. I might. <laughs> Looks like you actually did it. Yeah. You actually helped. Well, you saved us. We're out of there. I'm ready. You know what? You did good. I'm proud. We all are. Yeah, might. We can finally start again, right? I'm ready. I just like that we could all be together. It's really going to be nice. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I'm ready. <laughs> you hear that? They're, they're thanking you, man. No, John, they're thanking you. You did this. <laughs> so what now? Well, it wouldn't be a proper show with at least one more song. What do you say, guys? I'm down. I'm ready. You know what? One last one wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, it might. And this time, you won't be hurt by it. You know, <laughs> out of all the differences we've all had, me with Freddy, hell, Freddy and A.A. Ron over there, Lefty and everyone else, it's weird to start again. I, I'm almost happy to. Yeah, I might. Yeah. We're a family. Let's do it. You gotta buy her a rose, compliment her on her clothes. Say you appreciate that she's smart. Nah, oh, man, you tell her that she excites you sexually. And that's the way you get to her heart. Trust me, I know how it's gonna go. Listen and oh. And there are voices in my ear. I guess these never disappear. I'll let them squeal and I will deal and make up my own mind. Might still have voices in my head, but now they're just the normal kind. Voices in my head, but now they're the normal kind. You got what you wanted. You won. Your happy ending. Well, almost. <laughs> we can fix that. Just summon strength from within Don't get hung up on your skin She probably thinks that acne is hot I'll throw you a rope home slice If you need some dope advice Now march on over and give her a shot But in your sight, it'll go perfectly If you listen to me, me, me And there are voices all around and you can never mute the sound They scream and shout up to the mountain Make up my own mind There might be voices in my head But now they're just the normal kind Voices in my head But now they're the normal kind Giles, I, I can't believe it, you're here Oh, don't worry, pretty boy I told you you'd see me again But you, you took the deal, how are you here? Oh, look over He's the one that controls it all. Haven't you not been listening? It's nice to see you, too. I thought you were gone forever. Well, I'm happy I could say goodbye. I hope wherever you end up, you're just as happy as you made us. And no matter where you go, I will always be with you, John. The show's almost over. Thank you. Thank you so much.
I know the last thing I deserved was another shot, but... Say what's on your mind. Reboot. All of us. Please. Together. And any voices in our heads. There may be voices in our head. But I swear the voices there will be the regular kind. Me and the voices in my head have made up our collective minds. What do they say we should do? I think that all of us want to go out with you. And there are voices in my head. So many voices in my head And they can yell and hurt like hell But I know I'll be fine I still have voices in my head There are voices in my head Of the voices in my head The loudest one is mine Where do you think you're all going? Loudest one is mine You can't escape me that easily Loudest one is mine you did it! You won! You actually did it your way. You beat me. Congratulations, John. Enjoy. What's the matter? They're gone. What's gone? Voices. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, you can say goodbye to Giles, but he has some place to get back to. Yes, um, I do. Did they hurt you? From what I'm able to remember right now, yes. Why did... Why did you take the deal? I'm not cut out to be like you. I'm not strong like you are. For a human, you're rather impressive. I don't care what happens. No matter what, I will always be with you, and I will remember you as much as I can. We will. Not this way, but you'll stay with him in his actions and his thoughts. You will continue to influence his actions. And it goes the same for me. I suppose so, pretty boy. This is where we say goodbye. Wherever you end up. Wherever you may go. I will always be with you, Giles. I know. And that just leaves one last thing. It's my turn. Yeah. Don't worry. They're all going to be there with you. And, well, sitcom me. He'll never be able to find you guys. None of you. Not even Giles. Thank you. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta love yourself. You're gonna do okay. You're gonna be okay. Thank you. It's time to go. Enjoy it, John. For all of us. <laughs> Goodbye, pretty boy. Goodbye. Another beautiful day. 
<laughs> Fazbear Entertainment. <laughs> Light too open. <laughs> Little plushies. Today is going to be a great day. I get to talk to Mr. Afton, and I'm about to become CEO. Looks like things are finally looking up for me. <sighs> Man, I almost feel giddy. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so great. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, pretty boy. Don't worry. Today is going to be a fantastic day. I can already tell. John Moyers, how do you plead to the council? Guilty. You have lost valuable people for us. Better yet, we can't find them. This will not go unpunished. Your deletion will be in three weeks. Get your arrangements in order. You die. Get out of my sight! 